Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute. It is a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Masakisa Gimane from Japan, one of the world experts in CTO-PCI, who is going to present case 78 for the second edition of the Mind of CTO Interventions. Masakisa, thank you so much again. It's an honor to have you on the book. Thank you very much, Manos. And it's a very honor and pleasure to present my case. And my case is uh, a middle-aged uh, uh, gentleman with a history of the bypass and uh, lima graft and vein graft uh, almost six years ago and uh, he complaining of the chest pain because of the vein graft failure to the rca as you can see that the uh, today's target is the uh, rca occlusion but which is uh, totally occluded from the top to the bottom and uh, as you can see that the uh, uh, retrograde filling is fed by the uh, uh, good collateral channels from the septum and this requires that the, uh, some retrograde approach for the primary uh, procedure. Uh, as you can see that the, uh, even with the retrograde approach of the septal uh, uh, wire as well as a, a carrier microcatheter, you can see that the uh, blunt uh, proximal portion of the distal RCA bifurcation. So there is a lesion with uh, uh, proximal cap ambiguity present and uh, distal cap ambiguity present and very long lesion including the bending calcification and almost every difficulty is expected. So it's a pretty much important that when you start with a, a retrograde approach to preserve the distal bifurcation. Uh, in this case, although we don't see the precise proximal ostium of the bifurcation, but still we can navigate the Gaia wire to the direction of the so-called middle island of the uh, uh, sun vessel structure. And uh, uh, most important thing is that the, uh, we see the more multiple directions to confirm the guide wire position. And after advancement of the retrograde uh, Gaia second, uh, more and more resistance I felt and uh, of course this is a known vessel cause in the entire structure so in this case uh, probably at the end as you can see that the, uh, we have to resort to the uh, knuckle wiring because that the uh, vessel cause totally unknown and even in this situation if you put the uh, uh, secondary curve over the uh, retrograde guide uh, you can safely advance the uh, retrograde knuckle over this vessel so after reaching the uh, proximal portion, I prepare for the integrate uh, approach using the large bent Gaia second wire to get overcome the proximal ambiguity. As you can see, the uh, integrate uh, gear will be the uh, uh, short amplitude guide, seven French. And actually we were successfully advanced the uh, integrate guide wire over the uh, uh, Corsia microcatheter. But the problem is that the, uh, uh, after the Corsair, uh, nothing could cross over this proximal cap. So 1.25 and 1.0 millimeter balloon all failed to cross. So as the uh, Corsair microcatheter, it could not go deeper. So uh, that means uh, we cannot advance the uh, uh, larger size of the balloon to set up the reverse card. So in this case, we try to advance the uh, uh, integrate wire to create some overlapping. But as you can see that the, uh, even the other device could not cross over the proximal cap. Most likely that the very much severe proximal cap calcification. So we try to exchange the uh, some uh, guide wire to the uh, rotoblator extra support. And uh, lucky enough with the Caribbean microcatheter, which is a 135, cross through the proximal cap and we could change to the uh, rotor support wire and uh, we try to advance the uh, rotor wire over this uh, uh, rotor extra support but the uh, actually when we advance a 1.25 millimeter burr at the ostium everything jumped out of the ostium because of the uh, substantially no support over this uh, uh, short amplitude guide so uh, here's the situation. Uh, you can see that the uh, right-hand panel inadvertent contrast uh, administration required that the, uh, some kind of the uh, dye staining over the proximal portion and which is surely suggestive of the big hematoma already. So we have the uh, uh, retrograde knuckle wire which creates uh, some proximal extension of the dissection in the large 
So what we try to do is uh, first uh, we try to cross with the retrograde wire to the aorta, uh, which obviously failed in the right hand picture. And then after that, the, uh, we try another new Gaia wire to cross to the in, uh, uh, inside of the vessel structure, uh, which ending up with uh, some uh, subintimal space. And you can see that the uh, right hand panel even the fluoroscopy view, we can see the overlapping, which infer that the, uh, we are very close together. Uh, over this uh, uh, new system, uh, we were lucky to advance a 2.5 millimeter balloon for ballooning at the ostium and followed by the iris interrogation. As you can see, the, the uh, yellow arrow indicated the uh, subintimal space of the deeper segment of the RCA. And uh, uh, this segment requires that the uh, ostium of the RCA. So you can see that the uh, uh, we start with the osteal true lumen back to the digital uh, very much subintimal space. So here is the situation. We don't have any support, uh, but osteal is surely the uh, intimal position, but this portion is subintimal space. So uh, in this case, uh, uh, instead of going for the uh, guide catheter extension, we try to use uh, something new in this case. And since you can see the retrograde guide wire here, and when I pull out the retrograde guide wire, and it's a disappeared. So it surely, after the 2.5 millimeter high pressure balloon inflation again, two uh, separate systems, retrograde and grade, merges into the one subintimal space which connect to the proximal lumen. So theoretically, if we cover the stand with the proximal portion to the uh, distal portion in between the green arrows, probably uh, we can bridge over the uh, uh, true lumen to the uh, distal subintimal space. So immediately after uh, deploying the stand 3.5 by 18 millimeter DES, uh, retrograde wire jump into the integrate guide because that the, uh, that's how we create a common lumen from the distal subintimal space to the proximal true lumen. After externalization by the RG3 wire, uh, you can see that the uh, integrate balloon successfully done. Despite of the calcification, we successfully deploy the stent. And of course, uh, since uh, this is uh, almost close to the final picture, but we can depict the iris. From the proximal side, as you can see that the uh, big hematoma here, but the catch is uh, this portion bifurcation preserved of the uh, uh, PL, uh, PDA branch and the PLB branch. And that is the main purpose because that the, uh, uh, we have to preserve the integrity of the entire vessel to preserve the distal flow. So in this case, uh, we can obtain the final nice result into the uh, distal vessel, including the bifurcation as well. So uh, this is a little bit different from the contemporary reverse car, but uh, this is uh, one of the case of the stent mediated reverse cart, uh, which successfully done. Total procedure time is more than four hours because this is uh, a part of the live and uh, uh, X-ray dose is uh, uh, more than eight gray, but the uh, probably uh, this is such a challenging case. So uh, we are very happy the result for the patient as well as the doctors. Thank you very much for your attention. Great, thank you. That's that's an amazing case. Actually, a couple of things just for our learning because this is something we don't routinely see, and that's a phenomenal a phenomenal case, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know the the usual the, the usual tell us not to avoid putting reverse stent reverse car because then sometimes the wire can go under the stent struts. But it looks like the IBUS in your case was the one that made you more comfortable putting the stand and doing the stand reverse card. Yes, exactly. Yep. And then in terms of the retrograde knuckles, um, you see the Gaia, the fairly, it's a little larger knuckle, but are you commonly using the Gaia for, for going for knuckling undergrade or retrograde? Uh, not common, but the, uh, as I stress upon that the, uh, in this case, uh, very uh, unknown vessel course as well as the calcification on the way. So. <clears throat> Even if we use a very stiff wire, uh, sometimes that the risk of the retrograde perforation would be larger. Absolutely. And then lastly, I know the bifurcation was well maintained, mm -hmm. and although it was a bifurcation the distal cap, it was a very hard distal cap. Any tips and tricks on how to maintain? Because sometimes we do that, and then we lose one of the branches or other. Any is the um, I was what what helps you maintain true lumen position? 
Well, uh, actually, that uh, it's a more challenging case. Uh, but the uh, as I described, that the, uh, there is a hint of the direction of the middle island, and of course, that there are some distance from the distal bifurcation to the middle island. Uh, but still, that the uh, good torque wires such as a Gaia series will make a ninety degree turn to the right point. Thank you very much for a phenomenal case. Thank you very much.